dear students the today i am going to give you the very 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 important model paper in business statistics too so please uh, listen for 10 to 15 seconds whatever i am saying so this is very very important model paper in this model paper i have covered all the important problems which will come in your final exam okay and just i have not covered the theory part in this uh, video or in this question paper so i have already uploaded the important questions business statistics important questions okay video is there just you can go through with that video there i have given the important theory questions learn the theory questions from that video okay so in this uh, what are the questions which i am explaining so i will be giving you the how to do this problem and that explanation also will be explained in this model paper this is very 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 important model paper once you done this paper so you can score i am saying out of 80 to 90 percent marks you will be getting once you do this question paper and next important thing is i have already uploaded the all the subjects important questions in my channel so income tax or it may be any other business statistics explanation videos are also uploaded in my channel so you can just can go through with my youtube channel anu computer education so you can please subscribe my channel anu computer education so in this uh, without wasting further time now directly i'm going to the uh, first question of part a so now the first question is uh, sigma x and sigma y values are given so what i am going to do in this so already r r is nothing but correlation coefficient sigma x is nothing but standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y so what is asking point bxy and byx so how to calculate you know so bxy formula you know already bxy formula is r into sigma x by sigma y so substitute all these values it is nothing but 0.6 into 1.5 by 2 so this by doing this calculation you will get a bxy total and similarly byx is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x and here also same thing 0.6 into 2 by 1.5 and divided so you will get a answer now so this is what the meaning of first question so similarly go to the question number 2 now i'll be going to explain the question number 2 now okay so remember so every question explanation i am giving so just follow this uh, okay so this is a question number 2 now calculate the simple aggregative method so this is one of the very very important problem so example suppose commodities are given so what is given a b c d okay a b c d has given so what we have to do now we have to write prices 2018 so this is nothing but a base year price and uh, p1 2019 is our current year so whatever the values which are given 162 and 256 and 257 and next uh, 132 so after this uh, year what is given 171 and 164 and 189 so i'm saying once you follow these questions and practice na definitely you'll get a good marks in final exam so once you get so you need to calculate simple aggregate simple aggregate you know what is the formula for simple aggregate so the formula will be okay p 01 is equal to summation p1 by p0 into 100 so this is the formula okay into 100 so you have written p and you have written p0 so do the total of p0 total by using calculator and do the total of p1 so once you get these totals you substitute these values in the formula and do into 100 so you'll get the answer so this way you have to do this problem so this is one of the very very important short answer you can expect in your final exam so next when it is comes to when it is comes to the question number 3 i am explaining the question number 3 now so calculate the calculate the okay index number by using see, uh, average price relative method using arithmetic mean and geometric mean so remember so same thing this problem is also similar to the previous problem only so what is given here commodities are given as p q r s t so what is given p not is given as usual in this problem also p not is given base year and current year is given so write down the values 2 uh, 6 10 and uh, 5 12 so similarly you write 4 8 15 5 eight so you are getting now after doing this so first what is what we are doing now with, with help of arithmetic mean so you know arithmetic mean formula p01 is equal to summation p by n sir 
what is n n is nothing but number of observations or number of years which are given in the problem or number of observations and sir what is p p can be evaluated by using okay p1 by p0 into 100 to samajh mein aana yahan pe jo p0 p1 hai na ye ek ek value ko divide karna hai yahan pe p is equal to p1 by p0 into 100 so it means you take four four individual individual you have to do okay p item item number p p1 value divided by item number uh, item commodity 2 into 100 so do you will get the answer next value 8 8 divided by this side 6 is there 8 divided by 6 into 100 so like that you do all this process once you do this process you do the total of all these values now this total you substitute in the formula and divided by 1 2 3 4 5 so divided by 5 you do i with this answer you will get the answer. okay simple aggregative method and in the same question is asking to calculate so with help of geometric mean so same process same thing you need to remember so only the thing is extra one more column will be added to the before problem so same thing so you already calculated the p is nothing but here what what is p p is nothing but price relatives so this p is nothing but okay this p is nothing but price relative okay so we have to calculate the log p value for this you know by using the log table you have to find the log p so after finding the log p you need to do the total of log p so sir how to calculate log p so just go through with my youtube channel so in this business statistics too i have explained how to find the log value that video is there just can make use of video so you know geometric mean formula geom so okay p01 is equal to anti log of anti log of summation log p by 10 so log p total you are getting na this here And divided by five and apply the anti-log concept, so we'll get the problem. So this is about the problem number, okay? Problem number three. So when it is comes to the problem number four, just fit a straight line trend line equation and by using the semi-average method. So this is one of the very very important question. So these are compulsory questions. You'll get these questions in your final exam for short answers. So. so just once practice before going to the exam so you will get a clarity that how much you can perform in your exam so next question is uh, semi average method so please remember what is the problem which i am giving here so this two types of problem will be there even number of years will be there for this concept and odd number of years will be there so in in exam you may get even year or odd year both the things you need to practice so first when you get a semi averages you first count the number of years 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it is nothing but odd problem is given odd problem is given so so you what you do middle number is nothing but 2014 no? ignore this 2014 now so let lhs said so before to this 2014 3 years values are there and after 2014 also you are having 3 years values by adding this all values like 720 you take the average of this value three values now 700 900 plus 1100 okay 1100 okay Next divided by three. Similarly, you do here thirteen hundred, thirteen hundred plus thousand plus sixteen hundred divided by three. So you'll get one answer now. Here, so just I'm not writing zero. This some answer you'll get here, and here also you'll get some answer. So remember, so you take the draw the x, okay, graph. So you take the in x axis you take the years, and y axis you take the outputs or sales or anything what which is given in the problem. and what are the values which are given in the problem plot all these values accordingly and join the line so this line is called as actual line this line is called as actual line which is given so you are drawn the line by using the given question values so after drawing this what are the answers two answers you are getting here take these two answers sir where i need to plot this value and this value so in the first part this is first part of your problem na before 2014 3 years are there na which is middle year year 2012 so suppose year 2011 is there year 2011 is there and year 2012 uh, is there so in year in 2012 somewhere what is the value you are getting here? some some answer you are getting na where that value is coming you put the dot there so here also uh, right side after 2014 uh, 3 years are there so middle year is nothing but 2016 somewhere you will get 2016 year so what are the result you are getting that also you plotted somewhere now so after that you join these two lines so this is called as semi average method now okay so this is what we have to do for this problem so next to go to the concept of question number 
sir what is the meaning of question number 5 how to solve this question number 5 that i am going to explain in this video so question number 5 read the question number 5 so free hand method so what is the meaning of free hand so in the same thing here also we have to draw the graph okay here also we have to draw the graph and what we have to do in the graph what are the values which are given in the problem what are the values which are given so take the same thing years on x axis and sales on y axis after taking this you know scaling how to do after that what are the values which are given in the problem you just plot it like something you will get like 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 this this line is called as actual line okay so not what i did what are the values which are given in the problem just i plotted those values okay after that by joining these points i am getting one line so this line is called as actual line okay clear na so after this what you have to do what is asking free hand in free hand means you draw one line it should cover maximum number of lines one straight line you have to draw one straight line you have to draw so it should touch all the lines okay in the center so like this so maximum lines we have to cover and it should be center so like that we have to draw so what are the line which we have drawn this line is called as free hand free hand okay line so this is what you need to do for this question so this is a question number 6 uh, 5 so the next time going to the question number 6 that is very very important question so that is the question number 6 is very very important question from your unit 5 so next question number 5 is uh, mean of a binomial distribution is 4 and its standard deviation is 3 so you write we know that we know that you know binomial distribution mean you know na mean is nothing but what np okay and variance of a binomial distribution is npq so remember this is npq so the mean np is value is given as how much 4 is given so it means you know np is equal to now 4 so standard deviation is given so standard deviation is nothing but square okay sigma na sigma is equal to what is given root root 3 so squaring on both sides if you do both sides if you do it will become sigma square it is nothing but 3 now root and square get cancel it now this sigma square is nothing but variance now you tell me variance is nothing but how much here npq value is given as npq value is given as 3 so np value you know already 4 and you replace this value in this equation so uh, 4 into q is equal to 3 and q is equal to 3 by 4 3 by 4 is nothing but 0.75 so you know already p plus q answer is always 1 so q value you know already 0.75 so p will be 1 minus 0.5 if you do so p will be 0.25 so it means you understand the value of p value you know q value you know and we have to find the r value now how to find r value np so np is equal to 4 you know na p you know already so n is equal to 4 into uh, 4 into p is nothing but 0.5 it is, when it is come to here it will become 0.25 division over so divided you will get the answer of uh, npq so this way we have to do and remember while doing this problem so sometimes what will happen in this question if the p value exceeds 1 so this is very 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 important so here you are getting you know p plus q always p plus q always answer 1 sometimes what will happen you know p itself you will get 1.23 something you will get so by seeing this value you can understand that the the sum of the probability of success and probability of failure you should get 1 so here p itself is crossing 1 then you cannot predict the value of q now so this is one of the very very important topic you need to remember so in that case the problem is wrong incorrect problem so you need to write the probability cannot be okay probability of success cannot be more than 1 or probability p cannot be greater than 1 or q cannot be greater than 1 that conclusions you have to write for the problem so this is one important thing you need to remember for this problem okay next when it is comes to the question number 6 question number 6 uh, so 6 is completed the next time you to go to the question number 7 so please uh, remember the question number uh, 7 i am explaining so in a college 50 students play cricket and 20 students play uh, football okay like that the students data is given to you so what we have to do now for this problem you make it as you assume a is an event okay like i assume like p of a is nothing but how many students are so a means what playing cricket how many students are there 50 so b means what playing tennis p of b how many students are there 10 students uh, sorry 20 students are given okay so 10 students will play both the games it means p of a intersection b a intersection b so i'll draw one the venn diagram you will get a clarity now suppose i'm drawing one venn diagram so you know what is the meaning of venn diagram so set theory concept so this is a concept so this is set a this is set b so this is called as common region so total 
how many a, a, a members are there 50 so in a total complete a is 50 and complete b is also 20 so in this 10 students will play both the games now if you subtract here you will get a only a game how many are there 50 minus 10 so you will get a okay 40 so you are getting now so here what we have to do now formula p of what we have to do p of a union b so either a game or b game so either it may be cricket or it may be tennis game can be calculated by using probability of a plus this is addition theorem problem probability of b minus we have to remove probability of a intersection b okay so we have to do this is okay not mutually exclusive problem. now what we have to do now this is 50 is given minus 20 so both the games plus 10 plus 20 minus 10 so it will be getting what answer 60 so this is about the question number 7 so with this we completed the short answers so next we are going to the long questions next now one sh short I given here uh, mutually exclusive events and not mutually exclusive just you have to write the theory for this question so next comes to the next uh, question part B in the part B the first question I am going to explain so these are very very important questions I am saying uh, just practice this model paper I am saying definitely uh, these questions you will get in final exam and next from the following data obtain the two regression equations and calculate the correlation coefficient r so you know already uh, what we have to do now uh, we know that uh, regression coefficient of x on y x on y is what x minus x bar and next what we have to do is pxy into y minus y bar though this is the regression equation formula so how to calculate bxy formula bxy can be evaluated by using direct method formula I am using capital N into capital N into summation xy minus sigma x into sigma y okay divided by divided by N into sigma y square minus sigma y whole square so what we have to do for the given problem x values are given and y values are given so you need to do multiply this x and y value then next you do the x square total x square and y square so do this everything you add it x square total you take and y square total you take and xy total you take okay and next you take summation y total you take and summation x total you take so after adding these all values you substitute in the formula you will get a bxy value similarly you calculate the bx so you know how to calculate bx bx is equal to n into summation xy this is a direct method formula minus summation x into summation y the numerator will be common so second letter what is coming here x so you write n into sigma x square minus summation sigma x whole square so this so by doing so you will get so by adding this x and total you are adding y total so how to calculate x bar value x bar is equal to summation x by n so you will get answer and similarly you calculate y bar is equal to summation y by n so you all get this answer answer so substitute all these values in this equation you will get both the regression equations x and y and y and x so see, like this you have to do this problem so the next model of model from this regression equation is so in this problem what is given x bar is given so x bar value is given as 36 so this is a previous problem now, now y bar value is given as uh, 85 and sigma x is given as 11 and sigma y is given as 8 and r is also okay and what is asking so we have okay i think r value is missing in the problem so, so r is r will also give suppose example assume r is equal to 2.3 something uh, sorry 0 0.5 something is given okay so what we have to do we have to find the two regression equation for this problem okay so how to find the two regression equations so you know same x minus x bar into b x y into y minus y bar so important thing so here we have to use b x y formula is r into sigma x by sigma y and b y x formula we have to use we have to use r into sigma y by sigma x so you will get a this coefficient regression coefficient and this regression coefficient you substitute and x bar already is given in the problem and y bar is also given just substitute and do the calculation you will get a complete answer for this question so if he is asking to how to calculate the regression co a correlation coefficient means r is equal to square root of bxy into byx so when we have to use this formula when he is asking to calculate the correlation so the before problem i forget to explain what is asking so find out the calculate the correlation coefficient so that can be evaluated by using the this formula okay and what is asking when the value of y 
Now, when the x value is 6.2, what is the value of y? So, which equation we have to use to find? Which value we have to find? Y value. So, use y on x equation. In that equation, you put the value of x value. You will get the estimated value of y. So, now next come to the question number uh, uh, 10. So, what is asking here? Last PS and last PS value and next is what? Parches is given. So, this is one of the very, very important question. Now, next. Now, uh, next is here. Last PS, parches and this problem you have to do. So, first given is items are given. Items are given. So now next now so this is P naught value is given P naught value is given expenditure so you remember the expenditure is nothing but by multiplying P naught Q naught you will get an expenditure this is a P1 problem and this is what by multiplying P1 and Q1 so you know last phase formula you know P01 is equal to so you have to remember these all four formulas or five formulas are very very important so last pair formula you know p1 into p0 by summation p1 into q0 into sorry p0 into q0 into 100 so p1 by p1 by p0 p1 q0 by p0 q0 into 100 so what is parches formula summation p01 p01 is equal to summation p1 q1 by summation p0 q1 into 100 so like this you learn all these formulas four formulas and you can get done so what is the meaning of marshall edgeworth formula Mar marshall sum of these two values now so it means p01 p01 is equal to okay summation p1 q0 divided by okay plus summation p0 q0 so plus you do the addition of this uh, p1 q1 by okay next plus summation p0 q1 so into 100 this is a marshall edgeworth formula so whatever the fisher formula you know fisher formula is very very important formula so it is nothing but square root of p01 uh, p01 is equal to square root of last pairs formula and parches formula so p0 p1 uh, summation p1 q0 by summation p0 q0 into so we have to do into summation p0 p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 okay the whole divided whole 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 into 100 so this is which formula fisher's formula so last formula we need to remember that is a, as nothing but marshall or bowles formula so what is the meaning of bowles half of the last pairs answer and patches answer we have to take so it is nothing but P01 is equal to half of last pairs formula. What is the last pairs formula? P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 plus summation P1 Q1 divided by summation P0 Q1 so into 100. So this is the formula. So as per the table which is given for you, you need to calculate four columns. Okay, P0 Q0, P1 Q1. So P0 Q0, P1 Q0 is given. So you need to calculate four things and for this problem. Okay. So this way you need to do this problem. Next question number uh, uh, this B bit. Good. So, remove the curtain. What? Open the curtain. So, next, uh, indices 2007 as base. So, in this, okay, 2000, so what is asking? Recast the, okay, no, recast the uh, index number. So, you have to calculate the new index number. So, in this given problem, 2007 as the base year. So, we have to construct the new base year. Yes. So we have to reconstruct the new index numbers by dividing. What is the 2012 value is given here? 120. So divide. So it means you write 2007. Okay. So we are calculating the new index numbers now. Old index numbers are over. So you write year and a new index number. New index number. So is nothing but. So 2007 is nothing but 100 na divided by 120. Old uh, new index number into 100. So what is the second value? 
120. 120 divided by 120 into 100. Okay, so next value is 122. Uh, 122 by 120. So all values you divide with the 120 now. 120 into 100. So these what are the values we are getting now? These are called as new index numbers. So like this, you have to re recast the all the new index number by considering the 2012 as the base year. So next, when it comes to the question number uh, 11. So moving averages, five year moving averages and five year, so uh, three year moving, so odd year. So please, uh, in this problem also, you practice in two concepts. One is even year and odd year. So I am explaining, I given in this problem as odd years. So you know how to calculate even even problem, even moving average and odd, odd even uh, concept. So by adding three, three values, by adding the three values. First value you will not get, last value you will not get. After adding one, two, three values, what are the result you are getting? That you write it here. So after that, leave the first year again. You add one more three years. So add, write the answer here. So like this, you add three, three values and plot these values. So these values are called as okay, uh, moving averages values. Okay. After adding these values, you divide the averages now. So by how you got the this total of by dividing the three you do, so you get the average. So like similarly, five year averages, first two values you will not get and last two values will not get add 1 2 3 4 5 and the middle year is this one so write the value here and the next value here like like this you write the last two values you leave it now so here you will get the answers now after writing these values and what are the totals you are getting divided by 5 you do okay divided by 5 do that is called a 5 year moving averages okay like this you have to do this problem so just i have already explained uh, uh, this problems in my channel just to make use of this Next one is methods of least square. This is also very, very, very important problem. So what is the problem? Least square. So it is also two. How many types of problems are there? Two types of problems. Even year problem and odd year problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is which year problem? Which year problem? This is odd year problem. So you make it this as odd year problem. ODD odd year problem. So what we have to do in this odd year? So seven years problem is there. So what is given? years are given you take it as years and next you take it as profit so always the profit you consider as y so we have to calculate the x value so what is given here just i will explain this problem so 1990 1995 1996 1997 1998 1999 2000 and 2001 okay so i am writing these are x value so uh, years and uh, profits you write hmm. next you write it as uh, y values now what do you have to do now y values you write it so after that x values you have to do so odd year na, what is which one is the middle year 1990 year. so you put 0 year and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 year and 1 2 3 year you write it so this is nothing but which values x values now so after this you know met, uh, least square method formula straight and equation you know na, a plus uh, bx how to evaluate the a value summation y by n and how to evaluate the value of b summation x y by summation x square so already in, in the given question y is given so we have evaluated the value of x so similarly what we have to do x into y you do after this you do x square so do the total of the x y total and do the total of x square you substitute this values in this a and b you will get the a and b values so what are the equation you are getting that is nothing but trend equation so this is equation which equation this is trend equation which uh, trend means what a so something to uh, 22 plus uh, 3.5 into x something you'll get so like this just after doing the calculation so this equation is called as trend equation so in this what is asking uh, estimate the value of trend value for the 2004 so in the given problem what is given 2001 data is given so when the 2001 is there so what is the x value 4 suppose assume in this given problem 2002 is also there and 2003 is also there and 2004 is also there okay so x value when it is 2001 x value is 3 so when it is 2002 uh, is there it will become 4 now so 5 6 so whatever the value you are getting that you replace in this here so you'll get the answer of 2004 estimated value so like this we have to do this problem so next to the very very important concept we are going to discuss in this uh, problem is uh, if in a given uh, this is one of the very very important problems so the question number so question number 12 a bit this will be the very very probability unit problem okay 
next the question number so please focus on this problem so in a in a box uh, there are how many balls are given eight balls are given eight balls how many red balls are there red eight red balls are there and five white balls are there okay two balls are there. okay a bag contains or a box contains eight red balls and five okay white balls two successive इसका मतलब टू सक्सेसिव ऑफ ड्रॉ ऑफ थ्री बॉल्स तो तीन तीन बाल दो बार निकाल दो बार निकाला सपोज एक एक बॉक्स है आपके हाथ में वो तो बॉक्स के अंदर एट रेड बॉल्स और फाइव क्या बोलते हैं व्हाइट बॉक्स है तो मिला के पूरे एक बॉक्स में डाल दिए तो रैंडम भी क्या करे रैंडम के मतलब आप बिना देखे आप तीन बाल तीन बाल डायरेक्टली तीन बाल निकाल के बाजू लगा दिए दूसरी बार भी सेम ऐसी तीन बाल फिर से बॉक्स में से बिना देख के तीन बाल निकाले ऐसा कितने बार निकाले तीन तीन बाल दो बार निकाले तो अब क्वेश्चन में क्या पूछ रहा व्हाट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द फर्स्ट थ्री बॉल्स आर व्हाइट एंड सेकंड थ्री बॉल्स आर रेड जो फर्स्ट में तीन बॉल निकाला ना वो पूरे तीन को तीन बॉल रेड होने क्या बोलते हैं व्हाइट होने का चांस कितना है जो सेकंड टाइम में तीन 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 बॉल निकाला ना वो रेड होने का चांस कितना है बोल के पूछ रहा तो यहाँ पे नीचे आ जाओ द प्रॉब्लम यहाँ पे दो कॉन्सेप्ट है विथ रिप्लेसमेंट विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट और विथ नो रिप्लेसमेंट और रिप्लेसमेंट सो रिप्लेसमेंट और नो रिप्लेसमेंट का मतलब वो यहाँ पे आपको क्लैरिटी रहना बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है सर ये क्या है सर बोलते फर्स्ट टाइम में सपोज बैग के अंदर बॉक्स के अंदर कितने बॉल्स है पूरा कितने बॉल है बॉक्स के अंदर फोकस करो टोटल कितना हो गया फाइव प्लस एट कितना हो गया टोटल थर्टीन बॉल्स है टोटल कितने बॉल्स है थर्टीन बॉल्स है सपोज ये बॉक्स है ना ये बॉक्स के अंदर थर्टीन बॉल्स है सो इसके अंदर क्या क्या है एट रेड है फाइव वाइट तो इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड कंपल्सरी गेट वन प्रॉब्लम विथ इज यूजिंग रिप्लेसमेंट एंड विदाउट यूजिंग रिप्लेसमेंट सो फर्स्ट टाइम एक्सप्लेन दिन देर इज ए रिप्लेसमेंट वेन देर इज ए रिप्लेसमेंट सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रिप्लेसमेंट सो रिप्लेसमेंट मीन्स वॉट वेन देर इज ए रिप्लेसमेंट सपोज मैं पहले तीन बार निकाल दिया ना जब तीन बार निकालने के बाद बॉक्स के अंदर कितना होता है थ्री बॉल्स माइनस हो गया बॉल में से तो बैग में कितने बॉल्स रहते जब टेन बॉल्स रहते ओके टेन बॉल्स रहते ना तो अभी टोटल कितने बॉल्स है टोटल कितने बॉल्स है अभी मैं तीन बॉल निकाल रहा हूँ क्वेश्चन में क्या पूछ रहा फर्स्ट तीन बॉल जो निकाले वो व्हाइट होने का चांस कितना है तो व्हाइट बॉल्स कितने पूरा टेबल में फाइव फाइव सी थ्री फाइव सी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई बैग में टोटल बैग्स में कितने बॉल से पूरा टेन सी सॉरी टोटल बैग में कितने थर्टीन थर्टीन में से कितने निकालना थ्री चले गए सो दिस इज विच आंसर दिस इज प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ हैपनिंग ऑफ ए इवेंट सो नेक्स्ट प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ हैपनिंग ऑफ B event find out करना so what is the meaning of probability of B event so अभी क्वेश्चन में क्या बोल सकता है सकता है suppose so I'm explaining no there is no replacement का problem so निकालो सब okay okay first वाला कौन सा explain करे with without replacement no replacement का explain करो तो no replacement का मतलब अरे ना ना अरे हाँ तो अभी क्या है total balls में टोटल बॉल्स अभी नेक्स्ट टाइम क्या होगा कितने रेड बॉल्स है एट बॉल्स है एट में से कितने बॉल्स चलेगा दिस इज पी ऑफ बी वन सर आई एम सही तो बॉल्स में पूरा टोटल बॉल्स कितने हैं आपके पास बैग में थर्टीन था टेन ऑलरेडी निकाल दिए टेन ऑलरेडी विदाउट देर इज नो रिप्लेसमेंट का एक्सप्लेन करो पहले ओके नो रिप्लेसमेंट का एक्सप्लेन करो तो रिप्लेसमेंट इजी समझ में अभी बॉल्स में कितने टेन बॉल्स है अभी टेन में से कितने गया थ्री तो आपको प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ए का आंसर मालूम हो गया प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ बी का आंसर हो गया तो दिस इज कॉल्ड एस दिस वन सर विथ रिप्लेसमेंट का क्या है सर बोले तो दिस इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन प्रॉबिलिटी मालूम है ना ये कौन सा है ओके ये क्या है प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन विथ थी में सो क्या करना है यहाँ पे प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी तो दोनों आने का चांस है क्या तो पी ऑफ ए का पी ऑफ बी का सो so, दोनों अलग इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स है यहाँ पे तो इसलिए पी ऑफ ए इन टू पी ऑफ बी ये आंसर ये आंसर मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे तो आपको नो रिपीटेशन का आता सर ये रिपीटेशन का आंसर क्या है सर बोले तो सो द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ सपोज क्या है फर्स्ट क्या लिखना तीन बॉल निकाले ना तीन बॉल में से व्हाइट कितने पूरे व्हाइट बॉल्स कितने फाइव में से तीन गया ठीक है समझ गया ना टोटल कितने बॉल्स है आपके पास टोटल कितने बॉल्स है थर्टीन थर्टीन में से भी थ्री गए ओके okay, ये तो क्लियर क्लियर है सो नेक्स्ट टाइम विथ रिप्लेसमेंट बोल रहे ना रिप्लेसमेंट बोल तो जो निकाला बॉल्स वो फिर से बैग बॉक्स के अंदर डाल दिया तो बॉल्स में कितने बॉल अभी रेड बॉल्स कितने एट सी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल बैग में कितने बॉल्स है थर्टीन ही छे सर यहाँ पे इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज विथ रिप्लेसमेंट बोल रहा ना तो ऑलरेडी 
निकल ऐसे बॉल्स ऑलरेडी इसमें लगा दिया तो इसका आंसर थ्री सो इसको दोनों को मल्टीप्लाई करो विल गेट द आंसर सो दिस इज अब क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व सो नेक्स्ट कम्स टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर वेन टू डाइस आर थ्रोन वॉट इज द प्रॉबर्टी दट सम ऑफ द आईदर आईदर क्या है टेन और इलेवन सो दिस इज कौन सा क्वेश्चन है विच क्वेश्चन दिस इज एडिशन थियरम प्रॉब्लम ओके सपोज दई में क्या क्या नंबर्स रहते हैं वन आने का आंसर है टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इतने चांसेस है ओके वेन द टू डाइस आर थ्रोन ओके कितने ऑप्शन रहते हैं आपको पूरा थर्टी सिक्स ऑप्शन रहते हैं सो so, अभी क्या करना है अभी सम सम्स क्या होना सम ऑफ द नंबर्स सम ऑफ द नंबर्स ओके जस्ट ये प्रैक्टिस करो तो नाउ दिस प्रॉब्लम्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन दिस वन एंड दिस ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स विच आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड इन माय चैनल सो इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन में दे दिया मैं ऑलरेडी जस्ट वंस यू वॉच दो वीडियो यू विल कम टू नो दिस प्रॉब्लम and the next pt poison distribution which is also also i have uploaded in my channel so just make use of these questions and you can practice so all the best for your exam